Hi, I'm James, and I'd like to give you a look at Windows Multipoint Server 2011. Multipoint Server uses the power of today's PC hardware to deliver the latest Windows desktop experiences to multiple users who are all connected to the same PC. For 2011, we have uh, some exciting new features that I'd like to introduce you to. The features fall into three primary areas. First is easing the deployment and management of multipoint servers. Second is a more personalized user experience. And third is a new set of tools that give teachers control and uh, the ability to orchestrate activity within classrooms that are using Windows Multipoint Server. So first let's talk about uh, setup and deployment. We now support three different types of hardware station. We have here, for example, a monitor that's directly connected to a video port at the back of the PC. There's a USB 2 hub, which has keyboard and mouse plugged into it. Could have a headset if I wanted one. We have a set of partners who have been producing these multifunction USB devices. New for 2011 is support for network-connected clients. So things like this traditional uh, thin client box here is connected to the host uh, via the network and consuming a session. This laptop, could be a legacy PC, could be anything with an RDP client, is doing the same thing, connecting over the network, allowing multipoint servers to serve stations over uh, greater distances. All of those now are supported and are able to consume this multipoint server desktop experience. From the student's perspective, a key new personalization aspect of Multipoint Server 2011 is that now if I have my homework on a USB storage device, plug that into my station hub, the uh, content of this device will be private to me and not visible to anybody else. If I do want to share it out with anybody else, I can just plug it into the host PC and everyone can see it. For teachers, the Features that we've added are really all about having the ability to monitor and direct the activity in the classroom. So here you're seeing that the teacher has visibility of thumbnails of every workstation that is on every multipoint server under management and is able to zoom in and see if a student isn't on task or needs help. There's also the ability to take actions against either all of the stations that are under management or pick an individual station and, and take an action just on that. Uh, those actions include blocking all the stations so that all the students will uh, have to focus on the instruction that's being given, uh, the ability to limit access to the web to a certain set of sites that might be particularly relevant uh, with content for a particular class, uh, the ability to launch applications on student workstations, the ability to close down those applications, as well now the ability to project, either taking an example of the teacher's work, projecting that to all the stations and walking the students through an assignment or a task, or to take a particular student station where that person might be doing exemplary work and broadcast that to all of the other students. That's just a few of the top-level features that we, uh, we have in 2011. If you would like to learn more, please visit this website. And I'd like to thank you for your interest in Windows Multipoint Server.